know, they do the dancing and, uh, you know, and they have some formalities that they do with music. Um, if you listen to James Brown, you hear, <laughs> you know that. If you listen to far from people, it's the same. And you look at the features of James Brown, you will know the truck that where he came from. And aside from the music that James Brown was doing, he was all, he also had a way of dancing. That is a, his own way of dancing. Aside from that, James Brown was thinking about food. Because you know that each and everybody needs food each and every day. So music like mashed potato popcorn and all the other kind of music were kind of So that became an inspiration to me. And when I came out with my first record, I had my own way of dancing. That side of dancing was coming from second beat anyway. Then I started coming with words, you know, coin words about the hip hop, about the future, very proud. It's a good thing. You know, people are fascinated with that. And the style of music also. So, in combination, I have three things going the dance, the music, and the lyrics. And I thank God for that because. Um, to be able to do something that people from different homes will, will accept, then it means that it's, it's something great. Because when I go to perform, um, the audience, I see the, the audience getting involved with my music. When I see anything, they respond and all that. So um, it, that is a gift. If you don't have that gift, you can't put all minds together and forget where, who they are and listen to your music and enjoy your music before they go back home. And lo and behold, when they are going back home too, they go back home with some of my words. <laughs> because next time they see me in the street and tell her, bye, she's <laughs> moose. <laughs> so, um, since knowing that uh, my gift in this world is music, I followed it and I studied it. And everything that I have in this world is always given to me by music. And I thank God for that. And music is something that, to me, it is lifeless. Because if you are a football player, uh, when you get to a certain age, you can't form any more, the younger ones have to come. Um, if you are a musician, most of these big, big musicians like Louis Armstrong, and they've played until their 80s and 90s and things like that. So music is ageless. And if you keep on composing, arranging, Collaborating with the younger ones and teaching them, then if you are not there, they can also uh, hold the mantle and move forward. So that's what I've been doing. Um, I still do music because when I come into Washington, I'm coming out with a new song, a new album. So I came to do some mastering here.